What's up everybody, Dr. McKay here and welcome back to another Space Engineers tutorial guide video. Today we are looking at conveyor system setup. So as you can see behind me, I've already built a conveyor system. Right? Now this is quite a compact system and it basically provides you with everything flowing from the connector all the way to your last cargo container. So let's go have a look at what I've built. So firstly, on any conveyor system you need a connector so you can connect your ship or your rover to it. So I'll quickly show you what it is inside the tool menu. This it is here. So once you have one of these connected onto a conveyor sorter, not sorter, conveyor just box, you connect that to a conveyor sorter which is what this green arrow is on the box. So now you go into the control panel and then you go all the way down to where it says Drainal. So you have it on. And then come down, you want to have it in whitelist, not blacklist. And come down again and then you want to search for ores. Now basically what this will do is it will drag out all of the ores that you mine, including ice, from your ship to uh, yeah, from your ship all the way into the cargo container next to the sorter. And to do this you want to go through the menu, find it with your d-pad and then use your analog stick to go down to where it says add and then press A. So you can't actually get to the add with the d-pad. So now all of the ore will go into this cargo container. There's nothing in it at the moment. So now we've got the one above. All right? Now this goes to a H2O2 generator. All right? Now basically exactly the same process. You want to go into the sorter, go down to drain all, whitelist and have ice. So all the ice that gets put into that cargo container will now be dragged out into the H2O2 generator. Now we have the refinery. Now the, the refinery will drag automatic, automatically all the ores out of the previous cargo container. So the next sorter, we want to do the basic save, but have it for ignits. So as your refinery refines the ore, it turns into ignits, and then it will go into this cargo container. Now the assembler next to it will automatically drag out the cargo from all the components from the previous. So then the next sorter you want to have your components, hand tools and ammo coming out automatically into the last cargo container which I've also set up with tubes from the H2O2 generator right, which you'll see in a minute. So basically everything is now connected to this last cargo container and obviously the survival kit on the end is important. So let's go try out getting some more which I've already got in the cargo box on the left here and we'll set it, we'll put it in and we'll see what it does so firstly we'll just clear, make sure nothing's in it yeah so we don't like confuse people so we take everything out so let's check the survival kit, now we'll see it's all working so I still have ice so let's take the ice out a minute Right now everything's completely out of the conveyor system. Let's run let's run all through it and ice and we'll see where it all goes. So we'll take a couple hundred of each using the right bumper and A, which takes a couple hundred. Or a hundred at a time. Obviously it does show you in the little like text as you highlight over. So let's go put it in the connector and we'll see what happens. Right, so there you go, there's the ice, and then that's going to go up, and the ore's probably gone straight into the refinery, so let's just check the ice has gone in it, yes, there it is, and let's see if we have ignits, and there we have ignits. So, as you can see, all of the ore has been pulled automatically through to it, the desired locations. Now, the ignits won't move automatically into the assembler until you make something. Now to make something you go to the final cargo container, you press right trigger to go to production, then you have all your stuff. Now let's just do a still plate, and it should, yeah, it'll be made, and if you come out and then go back into the cargo container, it'll be in the same box, so you don't have to worry about trying to find it through all your system. Now the reason why I have the connector hooked up, the H2O2, is so when you come to the survival kit, you be able to get hydrogen as well as electric power. So it'll be all set up properly. 
Now that's quite a nice and compact system. Obviously you could change the layout if your base doesn't suit this. But this is what I tend to use when I first set up a survival. I believe it is actually really good to start with. So please, if you did enjoy this and learnt something and it helped you out, please leave a comment and like the video. And if you want to see more of my tutorials, please feel free to subscribe. With all that said, I've been Dr. McKay. And until next time, I'll catch you later. Cheers.